This door opens onto the world. It's the first stage of plane journeys to four corners of five continents. This charming traveller is on her way to Stockholm. She wants the Swedish people to know that Britain is getting back onto its feet, and British women back into smart clothes, if and when they can bully coupons out of their husbands. Sheila is wearing a simple over-checked tweed suit with a gay Robin Hood feather, and carries a red fox fur. Our second traveller is the lovely lady Patricia MacDonald, who's going over to Paris. She's not afraid of competition even over there, because British designers are now amongst the foremost in the world. Beneath the hand-woven Angora coat, she wears a dress of yellow wool, designed to follow the lines of the coat. The close-fitting hat is comfortable and just right for travel. The new fish veiling makes it as smart as it's comfortable. Joan's clothes are hardly designed for travel, but she's such a popular and busy girl that she finds she's only a few hours in which to get to Brussels, where she's having dinner at the embassy. Her dress is made of black velvet and is studded with diamond sequins. The design is unique in that the half crinoline at the waist can be removed and refitted to form a charming shoulder cape. The lining is soft ninon in oyster pink. Black velvet always gives an air of mystery. Let's hope that Joan is not arrested at the airfield as the second Mata Hari 